February is American Heart Month. Typically, we talk about preventing heart disease and how to improve your health. But today we're talking about patients who develop heart problems while still in the womb. According to the March of Dimes, one in 100 babies is born with a heart defect every year. Taylor Alanis has the story of one Ingleside family affected by congenital heart disease. We ended up finding out we were pregnant in July. A symbol of their love. Juan and Alexis Rivera were over the moon when they found out they were going to have a little boy. I was happy. I was real happy. But during their 20-week scan, doctors found something wrong. They couldn't find the fourth chamber of his heart. He has half a heart. Half a heart and a term neither parent had ever heard of. They told us it was hypoplastic left heart syndrome, um, meaning that half his heart, the right side was there, but the left side wasn't there. So he couldn't live with half of his heart. This is what it's supposed to look like. HLHS is so rare. The Center for Disease Control estimates a little more than a thousand babies are born with it each year in our country. They won't put him like as to get a heart transplant until it's absolute last resort. But even then, it's a wait. At 32 weeks pregnant, cardiologists at Driscoll Children's Hospital told Alexis she has to give birth at Children's Hospital in Houston. If things don't go the exact way they want them to and something didn't go right, he would have to immediately be taken to Houston to for them to have the proper supplies and equipment and staff to take care of him. She will soon go to Houston to have her baby. So we did get my grandma to make him a blanket staying six months after for his three surgeries. Once he's here, uh, he has to have his first surgery within the first week of life. Leaving her husband to work and take care of their other children in Ingleside. He goes, I don't want you to be gone. Like, I want my baby brother to have a full heart and to come home. He can only stay positive. Even with his little heart, the Rivera say their son is kicking like crazy. Set him down. Juan Manuel Rivera Jr. Praying that they can have his same strength and his little heart beating and hope that he'll be okay. I want him to be in our family, grow up with us, watch him grow, play with him. Taylor Alanis, Chris 6 News. It's not known what causes hyperplastic left heart syndrome. Alexis Rivera will have to remain in Houston even after her maternity leave is up. She's hoping that she'll be able to stay at the Ronald McDonald House there. Her co-workers are hosting a barbecue fundraiser for medical and travel expenses. It's happening this Saturday. It's being held at the VFW in Ingleside. And for that information, as well as the family's GoFundMe, head to our website, ChrisTV.com.